We have a preview now of tonight's 2020 special about Rodney Reed on death row for the 1996 murder of Stacey Stites, but granted a stay of execution after a support campaign that included celebrities like Kim Kardashian. Deborah Roberts spoke with Reed and she joins us now. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, George. After more than two decades on death row, Rodney Reed has spent the last year in kind of a holding pattern, awaiting a hearing which his new lawyers say could give him a shot at a new trial and a chance to prove his innocence. It's been 24 years yes. since you lost your daughter, Stacy. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about Stacy. From the time she was able to move, she was up and at him. She was into everything and did everything and friends with everybody. At 19 years old, Stacy Stites was engaged to a police officer in small town Texas, excited about her wedding. Stacy's co-workers grew concerned when she didn't show for her early morning shift at a local supermarket. They found Stacy on the side of a road and a bunch of wildflowers. It had to be devastating. What? It, it, it was awful. It, it was, was awful. This morning, investigators charged 29-year-old Rodney Rodney Reed of Bastrop with capital murder in connection with the death of Stacy Stites. Rodney Reed was charged with sexual assault, kidnapping, and murder of Stacy Stites. With those two enhancements of a kidnap and a rape where it resulted in a death, it became a death penalty case. When you look at the actual police reports of the investigation, there was a lot of mistakes early on. Losing all his appeals on death row for more than 20 years, Reed still maintains his innocence. Did you kill Stacy oh, Stites? I absolutely did not. Last November, just weeks from an execution date, Reed was granted a stay national attention by A-listers like Kim Kardashian and new lawyers from the Innocence Project raised new questions about whether he was actually guilty. What I spend my time doing is calling individuals who may have information from that time back in 1996 who are willing to come forward. Years after Reed's conviction, a witness coming forward to support his claim that he was having a secret affair with Stites, but the state saying her account wasn't believable. Our 2020 investigation reveals that the defense team says it has new science and new questions about an old witness. And you'll also hear from Stites' family, who contends that the right man is on death row. Thanks, Dad. The special airs tonight at 9, 8 central. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.